1. Which one of the following tax is within the jurisdiction of the state governments as enumerated in list 2 of the Constitution of India? Answer C. Taxes on mineral rights subject to any limitations imposed by the Parliament. 2. Which of the following taxes is introduced in India in 1953 and abolished in 1985? Answers A. A state duty. 3. The Constitution of India provides for transfer of resources from centre to states in the form of 1, 2, and 3 are correct. 4. The share of the tax borne by the seller will be larger. Answer C. If the demand for the product has greater elasticity. 5. The Sarkaria Commission has been appointed by the Government of India to report on Answers B. Centre, State Relations 6. The distribution of the burden of paying a tax is called Answer C. Incidence of a tax 7. Grants from the Centre to the States under the recommendations of Finance Commission are known as Answer C. Statutory Grants 8 funds not belonging to the government are called Answers B private accounts 9. Which are the three inter-related activities involved in the process of capital formation? Answers D. Savings, Finance and Investment 10. Which of the following is not an element of financial organizations? Answer C. Establishment of more microfinance organizations. 11. Which among the following statements is not true when there is an increase in interest rate in an economy? Answers D. Increase in capital return. 12. How the interest level of a country is affected by FDI? Answers B. Decreases. 13. Which among the following is not a non-customs duty obstacle in the world trade? Answer C. Determination of import duty uniformly. 14. Which among the following has the least possibility of globalization? Answers D. Location of capital works. 15. Indirect tax means answer C. There is not direct relationship between the taxpayer and the government. 16. Which one of the following is not an example of indirect tax? Answers are expenditure tax. 17. The major aim of devaluation is to Answers B. Encourage exports. 18. Interest on public debt is a part of Answer C. Transfer payments by the government. 19. What is USP in marketing field? Answers D. Unique selling proposition. 20. A tax is characterized by horizontal equity if its liability is answers a proportional to the income of taxpayers. 21. What does a leasing company provide? Answers B. Machinery and capital equipment on hire. 22. Buoyancy of a tax is defined as answers the increase in tax revenue, increase in tax base. 23. Economic rent refers to answers C. Payment made for the use of land. 24. The existence of a parallel economy or black money answers a makes the monetary policies less effective. 25. The incidence of sales tax falls on answers D. Consumers. 26. Equilibrium is a condition that can answers B. Change only if some internal factor changes. 27. What are the main components of basic social infrastructure of an economy? Answers D. Education, Health and Civil Amenities. 
28. Which one of the following taxes is collected and utilized by the state government? Answers B. Land revenue. 29. Investment is equal to answers C. Gross total of all capital assets minus wear and tear. 30. Deficit financing is an instrument of answers C. Fiscal policy. 31. A closed economy is one which answers C. Does not trade with other countries. 32. Operating surplus arises in the answers the government sector. 33. Which of the following taxes is such which does not cause rise in price? Answers B. Income tax. 34. Who among the following has suggested tax on expenditure? Answers C. Caldor. 35. Excise duty on a commodity is payable with reference to its answers A. Production. 36. What is value added tax? VAT. Answers C. A. Single tax that replaces state taxes like surcharge, turnover tax, ETC. 37. A mixed economy works primarily through the answers D. Market mechanism guided by government participation and planning. 38. Golden handshake scheme is associated with answers of voluntary retirement. 39. According to modern thinking the law of diminishing returns applies to answers D. All fields of production. 40. If the tax rate increase with the higher level of income, it shall be called, answer C. Progressive tax. 41. Which of the following is the classification of industries on the basis of raw materials? Answers D. Agro, based and mineral based. 42. Which is the most essential function of an entrepreneur? Answers are risk bearing. 43. Excise duty on a commodity is payable with reference to its answers A. Production. 44. Purchasing power parity theory is related with answers C. Exchange rate. 45. Which of the following taxes is not collected by the central government? Answers B. Professional tax. 46. Which one of the following is a developmental expenditure? Answers D. Irrigation expenditure. 47. Interest is a reward for parting with liquidity, is according to answers B. Keynes. 48. Surplus earned by a factor other than land in the short period of referred to as answers a quasi rent. 49. Which from the following is not true when the interest rate in the economy goes up? Answer C. Return on capital increases. 50. At present, India is following answers B. Floating exchange rate. 51. The terms microeconomics and macroeconomics were coined by answers B. Ranger Frisch. 52. The existence of a parallel economy or black money answers C makes the monetary policies less effective. 53. Which from the following taxes are levied and collected by the center but their net proceeds are wholly transferred to states? Answers are taxes on advertisement. 54. Which from the following sets belongs to central tax? Answers C. Excise duty, custom duty and income tax. 55. Disinvestment in public sector is called answers A. Privatization. 56. Rate of interest is determined by answers B. Commercial banks. 57. The government set up a committee headed by the chairman. Central Board of Direct Taxes some time back to go into answers D. Aspects of Generation of Black Money. 
its transfer abroad and bringing back such money into India's legitimate financial system. 58 which from the following is a part of tertiary sector? Answers are power and transportation. 59 A mixed economy refers to an economic system where answers see both the government and the private sectors operate sectors operate simultaneously. 60 A black market is a situation wherein answers A goods are sold secretly. 61 quota is answers D limit on the quantity of imports. 62 the Canons of taxation were propounded by answers C. Adam Smith. 63 protection means answers D. All of the above. 64 agricultural income tax is a source of revenue to answers A. State government. 65 beyond a certain point deficit financing will certainly lead to answers A. Inflation. 66. The tax levied on gross sales revenue from business transactions is called Answers B. Turnover Tax. 67. The duties levied on alcoholic liquors, narcotic drugs and opium come under Answers B. State Excise Duty. 68. Multinational Corporation is also called Answers C. Trans. National Corporation. 69. Corporation tax is a tax imposed on answers B. The net incomes of the companies. 70. Parallel economy emerges due to answers C. Tax evasion. 71. Freeing the economy from all unnecessary controls and regulations is referred to as answers B. Liberalization. 72. The incidence of tax refers to answers C. Who bears the burden of tax? 73. Economic rent does not arise when the supply of a factor unit is answers a perfectly elastic. 74. If the main objective of the government is to raise revenue, it should tax commodities with answers B. Low elasticity of demand. 76. Economic growth is dependent mainly on answers D. Level of investment. 76. Interest paid by the government on the loans raised is called answers a debt servicing. 77. Who said, economics is the science of wealth, answers B. Adam Smith. 78. Value of output and value added can be distinguished if we know. Answers see the value of intermediate consumption. 79. Which one of the following is not a cannot of taxation according to Adam Smith? Answers a canon of simplicity. 80. Indirect taxes by nature are answers see regressive. 81. The Minimum Wages Act was first passed in India in the year. Answers B. 1948. 82. Hire and fire is the policy of Answers C. Mixed Economy. 83. Mixed Economy refers to Answers B. The co-existence of public as well as private sector. 84. Taxation is a tool of answers C. Fiscal policy. 85. Which one of the following is not included in current revenue of the union government? Answers A. Loans. 86. Which one of the following is a direct tax? Answers C. Wealth tax. 37. Micro. Economy is also called. Answers B. Price Theory 88. Demand and economics means, 
Answers D. Demand backed by purchasing power. 89. The principle of maximum social advantage is the basic principle of Answers C. Fiscal economics. 90. Value added means value of Answers D. Goods and services less cost of intermediate goods and services. 91. Which of the following is an indirect tax? Answers C. Excise duty. 92. Taxes on professions can be levied by. Answers a state government only. 93. Which one is not a function of money? Answers B. Price stabilization. 90. Closed economy means. Answers D. A country having no imports and exports. 95. Which of the following subjects does not figure in the concurrent list of our constitution? Answer C. Stock exchanges and futures markets. 96. Debenture holders of a company are its answers C. Creditors. 97. Savings rate is relatively low in developed economies because of answers of welfare programs. 98. The terms, bull, and, bear, are associated with answers B. Stock market. 99. Taxes are as certain as the death, because answers D. They constitute the major source of government revenue.